What's going on guys? Today we're here to do a tool review on this Beta Tool Trolley. Now what's unique about this box is that it is compact and versatile. So as you can see, it has three expandable shelves. The first one is a work surface and the next two are actually drawers. And then at the bottom there, you have a nice deep storage bin. So let's start out with this top. You have six compartments on either side to store nuts and bolts. And then as I stated, two drawers and then that deep bin at the bottom. On the front of the toolbox, you have two locking swivel casters. And then in the rear, you have two larger wheels. It's a nice metal toolbox. It appears to be very durable. Um, the empty weight is about 20 pounds, and then it's only about 13 inches wide for the tool storage. And then if you measure from the rear wheels, it's about 15 inches wide. The drawers have ball bearing slides, and they appear to do fairly well up to about 20 pounds. Now this toolbox competes um, with another uh, foreign tool company by the name of Hazette, but I believe that their tool trolley runs upwards of $1,000 US. So as far as price point goes, um, this is the cheapest option of tool trolley that I know of, and I do not know of an American company that makes anything that competes with this. As you can see, the drawers slide either way, forward or backwards, so it does not matter what side of the toolbox that you work on. Um, and because they slide forwards and backwards, it does allow you to get a good full view of the tools that you have in those drawers. And another reason that they slide forward and backwards is to give you access to that deep storage bin. Now the width of this box is about 11 inches by 23 inches. For the deep side of the storage bin, it's roughly eight and a quarter. And then on the shorter side of the deep storage bin, it's a little bit over six inches. So you can fit a good amount of stuff in here. Now the two drawers are basically the same dimensions as far as length and width, but they're about three inches. The way the drawers work is that there's a small button latch at the bottom of each drawer, and that latch hooks into some pre-drilled holes that are in the tubes. So with the bottom drawer, the second drawer, you have an option of two pins, which allows you to move it up and down about an inch and a half. I'm not really sure what that gains you, but you do have the option to move it up and down. There are several ways to configure the box to actually work out of it. So if you never needed to get to the bottom, you could leave it with the bottom drawer all the way down. Or if you had something and you just wanted to use the top drawer for storage of a tall, maybe lighter part, you could use it like this. It also comes with two keys, but there's only one lock. And the way it locks is also kind of unique. And the key itself is unique. I thought I broke it when I took it out of the box. As you can see, it's got a, um, roll pin through it and it lets you flip it either direction. Now the way this locks is that the locks prevent you from activating the latch so you can't pick the top working surface up. You can't pick the top working surface up, you can't access anything else in the box. However, note that it is not a very secure latch. If someone really wanted to get through it, more than likely they could. Now as stated, one of the good things about this box is that it is small. So in a tight workspace, it's actually pretty handy. The rear wheels are about five inches in diameter. They're coated in a nice layer of rubber. And then the front wheels are about two to two and a half inches and they lock. Not only does it lock the wheel, but it also locks the wheel from swiveling, which is a big plus to help it be more stable because it is so small. As you can see, there are some tiny metal paws that come in contact with that plate. When they do, it prevents the wheel from rotating. So all in all, from uh, a rating of one wrench to five wrenches, one being the worst, five being the best. I'm gonna give this a four, and the only reason I'm giving it a four is because of the price point. It is rather expensive. Now, I will say that if you um, do some searching on the internet, you can get um, this particular toolbox, this tool trolley, in a variety of colors, and if you happen to pick one of the colors that is discontinued, you could get it for a lot cheaper than some of the new boxes. So who is this toolbox for? What is this toolbox best used for? Well, that's gonna depend on you. Obviously, if you're an automotive mechanic, this is not a great box to have in the shop just because you can't store as much for the money as you could with a bigger toolbox. Maybe you're someone who works on medical equipment. Something like this is gonna be really nice because maybe you don't need as many tools, but you still need more than what will fit in a normal tool bag or tool backpack, and this can be kind of your backup. Or you could use it as a travel automotive technician and just have it in your van and then for bigger jobs have them come into your shop. But you can actually get a lot done out of a box like this 
overall impressions of the box is nice it's metal it's gonna last long it has a good sturdy feeling to it the design is very innovative and it's also useful so not only is it something that grabs your eye because it's different it's different and it works there's a lot of stuff out there that's different and doesn't work and that stuff's not going to last but beta is actually a very good tool company even though they're not american uh, they've been around for a long time and in you know in europe they don't have as much space as we do over in the states they're all the time coming up with practical ways to store tools in a smaller amount of space so you know a toolbox like this will fit in the trunk of your car you can pick it up um, for the money yes you could go to harbor freight and get a much larger box but you can't lift that and store it in the back of your trunk and drive somewhere so you know, there are pros and cons to this box. You have to weigh the pros against the cons, but I will be doing a series on this toolbox where I optimize it for what I do. So stick around for that. We've got a couple more videos coming with it. And I wanna know what y'all's thoughts are on this toolbox. So feel free to scroll on down to the comment section and let me know what you think about it. And when you're on the way to the comment section, there is a nice red button that says subscribe. You wanna go ahead and click that and apparently there's a tiny bell beside it that you need to click as well. And if you don't click that bell, you won't see my videos. So you won't know what happens to this box in the future. And you're gonna wanna see it because it looks pretty cool now. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Feel free to tune in to the next video in the series. Peace out.